Light Tarot and welcome back to my channel. Hi if you're new, I am so honored to have you with me here today. Uh, today's reading is going to be all about how to strengthen your manifestations plus some tips for beginners. I happen to know a ton about manifestation and I've actually manifested a lot, a lot into my life um, by using it. So I wanted you guys to kind of benefit from that today and get to know a little bit more about what I know. And I actually have a very special announcement around manifestation uh, for today's video. So guys, if you are not too excited, please hold on and listen to this announcement because you do not want to miss it, okay? So you're going to be hearing about this in more detail in upcoming videos, but I am super excited to announce that I am building an eight week manifestation course for you all. Woohoo! Yeah, I really wanted to make this because growing up I had so much trouble really loving myself, being confident in my own self-worth, and attracting in what I wanted instead of forcing what I wanted. I struggled for a long time. I was depressed, I was anxious on medication, falling into negative relationships. I really struggled, but I finally manifested the life that I wanted. Guys, and I want to save you all the time that I went through. I want to save you years of wasted emotions, money, and time, okay? This is going to be an eight-week online course complete with 10 modules, exercises designed to empower and to heal you, Facebook groups, and more, guys. So this is really still in the works, and I wanted to let you guys know now so you can get it on the ground floor and actually tell me what you want to learn in the course, okay? It's not too late to still get involved. Type down, down below what you want to see in the course, and it'll probably make it in there, okay? But so far, what I've included is absolutely every step, every technique that I took to overcome massive obstacles I faced in my life over years and how I've manifested with incredible results and how I've stayed aligned all along the way. Guys, I've manifested some crazy things into my life, over $40,000 in lump sums. I've manifested real love, relationships, happiness, which I thought I could never have at one point in my life. I'm off medication, I'm super happy, have real genuine self-love, and I want all these things for you, okay? So really the goal of this course is to give you all the tools and experience that you need to manifest anything you want by learning how to address and change your subconscious mind, okay? That's what this course is all about. It's about changing the root of your beliefs and it is completely life-changing information, okay? This is everything that I use to change my life from the inside out. And I'm gonna be revealing even more in future videos, guys, but for now, let me know what you wanna see in the course, okay? I might also include group or one-on-one -on -one coaching. So guys, let me know if you'd like to see that. Um, let me know if there's an interest in that, okay? I'm going to be forming this course around what you guys tell me. All right, I have a poll on my community page. Go ahead and take that if you're interested. And uh, comment down below, okay? Just let me know because I will be starting an exclusive beta group soon, okay? Only 10 to 15 people will get full access to this masterclass first and be the first to know all these incredible uh, techniques, all these exercises, to go through this eight-week long course with me. It's going to be incredible, guys. It's going to be a group where we can all be together and chat about you know how the course is going. Uh, I'm really, really excited. So guys, let me know. And uh, that is my spiel for today. So let's get into actually picking the cards. So I have four piles here in front of me. The first pile is the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is number 38. The second one is All Tied Up, which is number 23. The third is Victory, which is number 28. And the fourth is Woman Holding a Coin, which is number 42, okay? So go ahead and choose one or more of these piles, and I will see you at your reading, okay? Bye-bye. Hey there, pile number one. Today is going to be a really happy, like, special reading. I have some uh, extra like new things today. I have a new mic, I have a new ring light, so I kind of wanted to point those things out um, 
pretty excited to be adding to the channel and things like that. So this is, of course, how to strengthen your manifestations and tips for beginners. Okay, so the first thing we have here is fourth chakra, which is actually the heart chakra. Um, this to me is saying that there's almost like a there's almost like a little bit of a lack of belief, um, some self doubt going on for you is what I'm getting. Um, there could be self doubt around like whether or not you are you know ready for a relationship, whether or not you're ready for to take the next step in your life. Um, if you're good enough for things, you know, if you're doing things in the right way, I feel like you guys could be overly critical of yourselves. Um, it's time to give yourselves a break. It's time to, you know, really uh, take some time to address how great you are and to really, uh, you know, take some time to rest. Okay, so let's keep going and see what we got. How can you strengthen your manifestations? And tips for beginners. How can they strengthen their manifestations? Okay, we have the six of wands. How can group number one strengthen their manifestations, okay? How can group one strengthen their manifestations? All right, we have the Hierophant, the Two of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely seeing that you guys are possibly trying to, you know, accomplish some really big goals in your life right now. Are you feeling very, like, overwhelmed um, by either work or some projects you've been trying to do? I feel like you guys have been stretching yourselves out, you know, trying to make something come in for yourself. Um, this could be involving, you know, teaching other people or things like that. Um, the advice here is to picture yourself winning, okay? Visualize yourself in the state of already having received all the accolades, all the praise, all of the recognition for what you want. And yeah, just picture what that would feel like and try and stay in that vibration or just, you know, be in there for about a minute or so, okay? Try to imagine uh, a place where you are, you know, you're still busy, but you're enjoying how things are going. You're, you're enjoying the pace of your life. You're feeling energized, you're feeling light, you're feeling free, okay? Right? What else we have here? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I am getting that there's maybe some doubt around whether or not you can bring this opportunity in for you guys, but I am seeing that you guys are working really diligently towards this. So let's keep going here. And these are the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. How to strengthen your manifestation. Time to move on. Time to let go of the old and worn out so the new can come in. Yeah, maybe guys, you have been trying to step into this new chapter and it can be kind of daunting whether this is just, you know, 2021 in general or actually in your work life trying to step into a new chapter. And it could be a little bit, you know, nerve wracking to be in the transition phase and between kind of two worlds in a way. Um, but there's, but you already know what's on this old path. You already know what you're leaving behind. It's time to step into that new. It's time to be confident with the decisions that you've made to expand in your life. And know that this wouldn't be happening to you um, unless you were energetically ready, unless you were energetically aligned with these things, okay? rest yes guys there is a huge need here to rest as well um i always say half attraction half action okay you don't want to you know burn yourself out doing action 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 and actually don't rest the rest is super important because it actually aligns you with the feeling of having your desire if you were you know i mean it depends on what it is right say a job maybe you'd be working more but um for the most part if you were to have your desire you wouldn't be stressed about trying to achieve it right so that time that you spend being relaxed and not thinking about it is actually really important and it energetically aligns you to your desires okay let's have watch your thoughts Again, this is really important. Watch your thoughts, you know? Why do you feel like you have to maybe like overwork yourself or work all the time? Guys, I'm a workaholic. I have the same problem. Um, but yeah, why do you feel like this is stemming? Like where do you feel like this is stemming from? Why do you feel like you have to maybe like work all the time or, you know, work so hard that you don't give yourself enough breaks, okay? Uh, maybe address some of that thinking, where it could have come from, why you feel that way. That could be really helpful. Or just also, um, if you don't want to go that deep right now, you can also, when they pop up, just tell yourself like, hey, this isn't true. I don't really have to be working right now. It's actually really important for me to take a break. One thing that I do, so I ask to take breaks throughout the day is to literally write down take a break on my to-do list it has to be like a certain you know uh, number of minutes and I can't be doing certain things during like I can't eat during my break because that's just eating like that's not actually a break you know that's just like I'm eating and then I'm and then I'm working a, a second later so things like that okay how can you strengthen your manifestations and what are the tips for beginners release your ex 
Okay. Yeah, this is telling to me release the past. Um, yeah, maybe you guys are just, again, nervous about stepping into a new way of being, a new way of dating, you know, a new relationship, um, a new, new singledom, new projects, new whatever, right? You guys can be nervous about stepping into this new chapter, new year. Um, but the thing is, you already know what's in your past. You already know that maybe these things haven't been working for you for a while. So what's the fear in trying something new, especially when you've been... Um, you know, guiding yourself according to what you've already been through, especially if you're trying something new, you have to know that it's going to be better suited to you because you have the experience of your past, um, you know, of your past disappointments to know where to, where to take you now. Okay, we have rest and healing family issues. Yeah, guys, I, I underneath this deck as well, we also had father healing and now we have healing family issues uh, underneath the rest. So, as I was saying before, there could be like some people in, in your life who have overly influenced you to like, you know, uh, to work really hard, right? I know I've watched a ton of like parenting TikToks where they're all about um, if you, you know, tell your kid every minute that they have to like do a chore or if that happened to you as a kid, we kind of have trouble sitting still as adults. We have trouble not working and moving because it makes us feel like we're doing something. It makes us feel like, you know, we're worthy of love or we're worthy of, of peace, right? But really, that's not actually uh, that's not actually the truth. We're worthy of all of those things in our natural state, and also rest is a part of our natural state. If we're not resting, we're not giving ourselves enough energy to be able to actually tackle our goals uh, when they come up in the future, right? So watch those thoughts and understand how rest is actually important to you um, achieving what you want in your life and to actually taking action, okay? And again, watch your thoughts with children. I am getting, there is definitely an issue here, a family issue um, that you guys had maybe in the past. Again, maybe it resonates with you that your parents will you do a lot of chores, um, to like, you know, they really had you whipped into shape. I know I definitely did like lots of chores as a kid. You know, or like they used to yell at you if you didn't clean your room or stuff. I don't know, things like that. And now maybe as an adult, it's translated into I have trouble sitting still. I have trouble not working. I have trouble relaxing even when there isn't any work. Guys, it's half attraction, half action okay so we can't take action all the time we really have to take that rest the way we can one you know be ready for the next flow and then two um i almost forgot what i was gonna say uh <laughs> be ready for the next flow and that we can actually uh just, just to rest in general, you know what I mean? You we really have to do it. It's, su it's super important. Oh, and what I was going to say is that we can align with the energy of having our desires too, okay? I almost forgot there. Okay, anyway, let's, let's keep going. How can you strengthen your manifestations? How can you strengthen your manifestations or start manifesting? These are the entre female entrepreneurship cards, divine feminine, excuse me, entrepreneurship cards from Liv Tarot. This is a great deck. I really like it so far. Okay, we have attract. Boom, guys. What did I just say? Okay, so action versus attraction. You guys really need to rest. You guys really need to step into the energy of already having what you want. And visualizing is really going to be helpful for you. Um, I would just say, like, if you were to have your, your um, desire, you would have much less stress. You will be relaxed. You will be, you know, enjoying yourself. Try and take a minute to feel that way. Try and take a minute to put yourself in that energy. And that already is further aligning you to your desire, okay? How can you strengthen your manifestation? So, guys, you need to rest more. Rest more because... The energy of doing a lot of work is not the energy of having your desire. Do you see what I mean? Those things are actually not helpful. Schedule. Great, guys. Yes. You're going to want to avoid overwhelm. Save time and energy by automating your schedule. Okay? So definitely schedule out things you need to do maybe up to the next two weeks. That, and like modify it as you go. The way you guys can avoid feeling like you're a chicken with your head cut off, like running around everywhere trying to get everything done, you know? Strengthen your manifestations. How can they strengthen their manifestations? How can they strengthen their manifestations? Okay, listen. Yes, listen to yourself, guys. Listen to your own intuition. If you are starting to feel frazzled, take a break. If you're, if you're starting to feel stressed out, overwhelmed, take a break. If you feel like you have so much work that you don't know where to start, um, either do one small thing at a time or take a break. Seriously, guys, even when I'm starting to feel like I have, I'm overwhelmed and I have too much to do, 
that's when I take a break because I can write it down and see that, hey, maybe it's not that much or maybe I can do it tomorrow. Or, you know, when we start to stress and, and panic, that's when we uh, can really get like hype ourselves up and overwork ourselves, you know? Okay, then we also have broadcast. Develop your unique voice and get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or radio show. Okay, again, guys, I feel like you guys have some project that you have been trying to get out there. This project is really going to work out well for you guys. It may not be all about um, communication. I know for some, I know I was saying earlier that for a lot of you, it's going to involve using your voice, it's going to involve communication. I mean, you know, most jobs do, right? Um, but yeah, I really feel like people are going to want to listen to what you have to say. Uh, but to do that, you guys really need to listen to yourself. That way you can, uh, you know, keep yourselves on track in terms of your energy levels and all of that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up now with the Allentine Wellness Law of Attraction cards. So let's look at these. How can you strengthen your manifestations? We have beliefs come true, okay. Your beliefs create your reality. Recognize and change emotions, reprogram the subconscious mind. And guys, just to plug myself once again, my course that I'm going to be launching um, in the next coming weeks is really going to teach you guys how to repro reprogram your subconscious mind how to address those deep-seated beliefs and actually change them um, in a way that really sets you guys free. So, um, but further on this, beliefs come true. Like, the things you think about yourself, the things you think you have to do are, is really a reality. So, I know, I know when I get overly well, overly whelmed, guys. I know when I get overwhelmed, I try and just take that step back because if I believe that like, oh my gosh, I have all these things to do and this is it's never gonna work out for myself and I'm, I'm so overwhelmed and blah, blah. If I, if versus if I just take that extra step back and maybe write down what I have to do, take my time, I feel so much better. So what I'm basically saying here is all about our perception of our stress. If we don't get, if we become the observer of these things we have to do, if we become the observer of our stress, not necessarily, you know, living in and not necessarily, you know, having it take over our emotions, we can get a lot more done actually by just trying to stay as calm as possible. Growing success. And just know that, yeah, you guys are really actually growing in success. Whatever you want to do is definitely going to have a lot of abundance, okay? So this says, be excited, stay on the path, manifesting affluence. So you guys are definitely bringing in what you want here. You guys are growing in success. Okay, it's going to take, you know, some, some daily work to keep this up, you know? It's going to take daily work for you guys to let yourselves relax. Because I feel like you guys are such go-getters. It's so hard for you to relax. Just know that it's already manifested here. We have it's manifested. New desired reality is already present in your life, okay? You are already living in the reality in which you achieve all your dreams, okay? All you have to do is just chill out, stay there, <laughs> you know what I mean? And follow some of these tips about resting a little bit more. Again, attract what you want. You don't have to take action all the time because the, um, the energy of moving so quickly and worrying about these things is energy of actually not having, okay? So I really hope that helps you out. I hope that makes a lot of sense um, and that you guys benefited from this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I also am available for personal readings. If you guys want a personal reading, I'd love to help you out. Um, and that is all I have to say for today. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next pile, okay? Hope you all enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next one. All right? Love and light. Bye-bye. Hey there, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. I'm super excited to get started today. I don't know if you noticed, but hopefully the quality has gone up in this video. I've gotten a new mic, I got a ring light, um, and I just want to let you know I'm, I'm really trying to improve the channel this year, so I'm, I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is how to strengthen your manifestations, of course. So let's go ahead and start. You got the all tied up card. And to me, this is kind of like the eight of swords. Um, this is telling me that you guys are maybe like trapped in some, um, not necessarily a negative mindset, but like thinking that things won't go as well as you hope them to go. Like you guys are nervous about things. Um, you guys are feeling like things just like are doomed to, doomed to fail or like things won't work out for you. Okay, we have the eight of swords showing up here. So that just confirms what I'm saying. You guys are kind of stuck in maybe a little bit of a negative perspective. Um, and I think it's just like rooting from some self-doubt and also some fear about um, going on to a new path here, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and start off with these tarot cards. 
Um, I'm seeing that you guys are really attracting in a lot of happiness right now. This could be actually one of the sources of you feeling a little bit nervous or you feeling kind of in this Eight of Swords energy because you have a lot of abundance coming in for you. You have a lot of um, new and exciting opportunities. You could be at the point now where you almost feel like um, the universe is testing you and that you're going through these feelings of self-doubt to kind of, you know, test your faith in the universe, okay? But actually, you have a lot of really good things coming towards you on your way. You can already kind of feel these things. So that could be part of the nerve-wracking part, right? But I do feel like you guys are on about to go on to a new destiny. There's a lot of spiritual awakening happening here. There's a lot of, you know, understanding oneself better as really going on in the near future, okay? So let's keep going. How can you strengthen your manifestations? Tips and tips and beginner. Tips for beginners. <laughs> okay, so we have music for manifesting. You guys can listen to binaural beats. Um, you guys could like hum and sing or just dance and move around. I really do feel like getting out of this stagnant and uh, you know tough energy is going to be the best thing that you can do. Um, anything that makes you guys feel happy, I suggest you guys do today. Okay, take some time to pamper yourself because. Um, pampering yourself and enjoying your life is the energy that you would be in if you were to have all the things that you want, right? So take time to do that now because that'll, one, make you feel better and it'll, two, energetically align you with your desires, okay? And with all this happiness that you're trying to achieve. So listen to music that you like, um, you know, take a nice bath, uh, listen to some binaural beats, listen to some subliminals. I think that'll really help you. Um, some subliminals, okay. How can you strengthen your manifestations? And some tips. Okay, make a wish. Yes, you guys have a lot of really awesome energy surrounding you at the moment. Not, that, not the energy that you were in per se, but the magical energy that surrounds you and all these opportunities, right? So now is the time to actually imagine things going really well, okay? This could be a good time to start scripting. Um, that's a topic that's going to be included in my course. Uh, this could be a good time to start um, making a vision board. Another topic is included in my course. Um, you know, things like that, okay? And make a wish. But basically, make your intentions to the universe and let them know that you want these things to go this way, okay? So if you're nervous about the outcome of a situation, describe the outcome that you want and focus on that instead of, instead of um, imagining all the things that could go bad for you, okay? How can you strengthen your manifestations and tips for beginners? Okay, let yourself receive. Yeah. Okay, I was saying this to the last pile also, that it's half action, half attraction, okay? We really have to get um, comfortable with resting and with being able to, you know, like take a break because one, it replenishes you for the next time that you actually do go into action and two, resting is the energy that you would probably be in if you were, about the subject anyway, if you were to actually have have your desire you wouldn't be worried about it you wouldn't be stressed out about it you will be relaxed right so now's the right time to you know again give yourself a relaxing bath or treat yourself to something and make yourself feel good today okay and just relax because that's really going to um, help you attract in your desires really our natural state is to be happy to be stress-free so the closer you can get to that the closer you are to attracting all the things you want okay so how do you strengthen your manifestations? Attraction, here we go, yes. You guys are really um, powerful attractors when it comes to like music. I feel you guys work with music really well. Uh, some of you guys could even make music, make art. Uh, if you guys do make art, now's a really great time to maybe make some art about your manifestation, about how you wanna feel, about all the great you know energy that's going to be coming into you when you receive it, right? And kind of focus on that. Um, but again, this one says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So again, this is really telling you to live with passion right now. You know, don't be caught up in, you know, what could happen or what, or what you should do or all this kind of other stuff. This is really about, you know, um, trying to, trying to feel that happiness and, enjoy, and enjoying, right? Okay. You have, we're getting to know each other. We also have finances and career. Yeah, you know, this is telling me that you guys could maybe often get into a negative swirl or a negative, um, you know, one of these. What, what are these even called? Okay, anyway, you, you know, a spiral. <laughs> there we go. You guys can often get into a negative spiral, um, thinking about things that could go wrong. I want you guys to tonight, well, before you go to bed, 
Think about your desire, and instead of having a negative spiral, have a positive spiral. Think of things that could go right with your desire, okay? For example, I'm gonna manifest with my course with you right now because I'm really excited. Um, say, like, I asked you guys about it, and you give me incredible feedback, you guys are like loving it, and you give me all these co ideas, cool ideas to incorporate in. I'm gonna add in a few more things. I launch it to you guys, it goes awesome, you guys love it, and everyone's manifesting their dreams, and they're getting what they want, and everyone's super happy. And every, and everyone's having a great time. That's that's my that's my positive spiral right there. So that's what I guys that's what I want you guys to do before you go to bed is kind of think about all the amazing ways that this could go instead of all the negative ways this could go. Even for 17 seconds, if it's that small, even a minute, you know what I mean? Just something like that to get you in a good positive mood. And the more you do that, the more you're going to see those positive thoughts take over more than the negative ones. Okay, so get to know that positive feeling. Get to know that feeling of having your desire. Get to know that feeling of being feeling positive about your desire, okay? And um, the more you do that, it's kind of like an, it's kind of like a muscle, you know. The more you can tap into it, okay? And let yourself receive. Maybe this maybe this involves finances. Maybe this involves your career in some way, or this could just involve a goal that you really want to happen, okay? involving this happiness or this inspiration, these opportunities you want to come in, um, you will be receiving these things. I feel like you guys are just nervous that you won't get in what you put out, but you will you, you will get what you want back, especially if you, you've been investing into something, especially if you have been um, you know, putting your time and effort into something. I do feel like whatever you guys are manifesting is going to be giving you those results back. So it's really important now to set the intention of it's going to do that for me. I'm going to enjoy this whole process because as you intend these things to happen they end up unfolding like that okay so take take some time every day to say uh, I'm gonna be so happy this day I'm going to enjoy you know my life and I'm going to feel good about all this this and that and I'm gonna get opportunities you know just intend it and it's going to come towards you okay so how do you strengthen your manifestations and also some tips for beginners Okay, higher. Okay, interesting. If you're feeling overwhelmed with an never on to do list, outsource your mundane tasks to a virtual support agent. Okay, guys, um, I don't want to plug myself too much, but I am feeling like <laughs> if you guys need someone to help you guys manifest things into your life, if you guys need, you know, more advice, you could just go onto YouTube. You could, you know, check out my course as it comes out. Guys, keep keep updated on that because it's going to be life changing um if you guys you know if you want a coach i could be interested in doing some coaching let me guys know if you want me to do coaching but you guys could hire someone to help you manifest things you want in your life or if this is actually business related you guys want to actually might actually want to hire someone to help you do business to help you do what you have to do um that could be like an upwork a fiverr kind of thing okay but i feel like you guys want to seek some help right now and that could be in the form of, you know, another professional here on YouTube. Uh, that could be me. That could be other people. You know what I mean? Okay. How to strengthen your manifestations and tips for beginners. How can, how can you strengthen your manifestations? Or if you guys have been wanting a job, this is like confirmation that you're going to be hired. Okay. If you guys have been wanting a new job, this is like someone's going to be hiring you. Okay. Definitely. Most definitely. How can they strengthen their manifestations? Okay, you have schedule. Yeah, guys, came up in the last pile as well is to really schedule um, what's going on in your life that way you feel less overwhelmed. Uh, and maybe schedule even two weeks out and modify it as you go so you can kind of have a good feeling of what needs to get done now and what can wait, okay? I'm also seeing all these social medias here. Um, this could be like, maybe you guys need to take a break from social media. I don't really know why. That could be making you feel like a little bit anxious. Or, I'm not sure. It's not going to resonate with everyone, of course, but... For some of you, I feel like social media is not helping you guys. Or the opposite, right? Or the opposite, that you guys want to contribute more to social media. You guys are actually creators. You guys are on social platforms. And um, you, it would actually be helpful for you guys to contribute, to learn, to sh share what you know. Okay. Hmm, that's quite interesting. Yeah, some of you guys are wanting to, like, um, start some really big projects in 2021 where you guys would be contributing to a certain community. You guys could be hiring people to make this happen. So I, I definitely suggest getting on that if that is the case. Uh, if you guys need help, definitely to hire people, okay, to strengthen your contributions. That's what I've done. I have a whole team behind me. I just can't stop talking about the course. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, how to strengthen your manifestations. Here we go. The last one, and then we're going to get one more deck. 
we'll call it a day. Funnel, okay. Some of you guys are most definitely trying to create some digital products, trying to create some products in 2021, trying to create a business, and you guys are nervous about, you know, trying to bring this in, trying to make the, all this happen, okay? I'm doing that for a lot of people, um, actually. Okay, guys, that you definitely want to want to hire someone either to do your scheduling for you, to do your social media for you, or to you know, or to write for you, to write for your blog, write for whatever you got, or to create a sales funnel for you to you know literally like help you bring in clients, help you bring in whatever. Okay, so yeah, I think that'd be really helpful for you guys. Um, also, speaking of the funnel, again, that talks to me about um, the spiral thing that I mentioned. So again, visualize yourself spiraling upwards. Visualize yourself, you know, going to all those new heights and, and amazing places and trying to tap into the energy a lot because that'll help combat this energy of feeling stuck or feeling like you don't know what you're doing over here, okay? The more you visualize yourself knowing what you're doing, having a great time, bringing in your abundance, the more you're going to see opportunities to make that a reality for you, okay? So now I'm going to finish up, and we're going to look at how to strengthen, already got that. <laughs> okay, we can get in flow state, giving and receiving, okay. In flow state, yeah, definitely, guys. This is really big. I feel like you guys want this and are working at this sometimes so hard that you actually are in resistance to it sometimes. Again, it really has to be half attraction, which is half resting, half feeling like you already have it, half enjoying your time, okay? You have to be in flow. That's when you're going to get more inspired ideas. That's when you're going to be feeling, you know, more energized, revitalized, okay? It's all about this giving and receiving. It's all about this give and take, the yin and yang. You know, it's really, really important. Sometimes the universe will reward you with something right after you've rested just to tell you, like, okay, we, you should have rested the whole time. Or, although, like, for example, I was just trying to, like, do some work for the, the launch and, like, you know, take some photos and try and get ready and nothing was working. And really, it was the universe's way of telling me that I should have been resting. And uh, they like ruined all my plans just so that I would rest. And I was like, wow, I could have just rested this entire day, but I just had to work for, for what? For what? Uh, so that's what I'm saying here. You know, it's all about the give and take. It's all about the giving and receiving. And resting is a really important part of that, okay? All right, so observe. This one's all about not getting caught up in the details of the story, not getting caught up in stress, okay? It's kind of like when stress comes your way, instead of getting our emotions involved, when something stressful happens, we kind of just observe how it goes and just wait for things to kind of pan out a little bit more. Instead of jumping to conclusions, instead of you know getting upset, instead of getting our emotions involved, it's kind of like just holding off a little bit or holding off, you know, for, even for a few weeks while you, uh, you know, while you're trying to see how things pan out, okay? Because a lot of the time, there is a bigger picture to what's going on. Like, I remember when I wanted to manifest a job, and right before I got the job, I lost a lot of money, very sadly, and it was a good chunk of change. And I, um, instead of getting upset about it, I instead just accepted that my manifestation was about to arrive. And you guys must be like, how do you come to that conclusion? Like, I knew for sure I was about to get hired when, I, when that happened to me because I figured if I don't need this money, Money, then that's why it's being taken away from me. If I don't, if I should, I said the backwards, but uh, if, it, if it's being taken away from me, then I don't need it. So if I don't need it, and I did need it, um, then, then I must be getting a job really soon. And lo and behold, like two weeks later, I had a job. And I think it was because I didn't like trust out in that way. The universe could see that I trusted them to bring in what I wanted, okay? And lastly, I'll pull this card for you guys. We got high, highest expression, okay? So you guys right now are really coming into a really important transformation, really important time. Okay, this says fulfilling life purpose, soul contract, destiny, co-creating with the universe, and bliss in nose worth, okay? So this is kind of you guys. Uh, you guys are definitely coming into a really important time, fulfilling your destiny, finding out what your destiny is. So there's a lot of, you know, probably high stress or just, you know, a high pressure situation coming up for you because this is so important and you guys are probably feeling a little bit overwhelmed 
but spirit wants you to be able to, you know, observe, kind of take a step back, be able to rest, be comfortable in, um, in resting and in the energy of having your dreams. And, you know, maybe take some of these steps to automate what you're doing. But other than that, I really do see you guys coming into an incredible time. So I hope that you all enjoyed. I hope this reading benefited you. And um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Okay. Uh, love and light. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Hey there, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. This is, of course, how to strengthen your manifestation and tips for beginners. So it seems that you guys would really benefit from some positive visualization right now. This woman in the eye, a woman in the card has her eyes closed. She's imagining victory, at least from what I can see. And it looks like you guys are going to be coming into some victory here as well. Um, very soon, you guys are going to be uh, coming into some really great opportunities, things like that. So let's keep going here. So how can you strengthen your manifestations? How can you strengthen your manifestations? Okay. Seems like you guys have really overcome a lot uh, pretty recently. You guys have moved away from some stressful situations. Okay, we have the sun here. Yeah, and you guys are definitely on your way to victory, okay? You guys are definitely on your way to just a lot of happiness, a lot of good times, okay? You guys have been preparing for this. You can see this. I'm um, really about this point. It's about staying confident, understanding that um, that your time is here. Okay. I feel like uh, sometimes maybe you guys can psych yourself out and feel like, oh, maybe the timing is wrong, or like, okay, maybe I'm not really ready for this yet. Maybe I need more experience, or you know, I need more time to make this work. But in actuality, you guys are ready to receive whatever this is. You guys are ready to step into this new reality, into this new role. Okay, so whatever this is, you guys are ready. So let's keep going. And how can you strengthen this manifestation? Okay, we have healing heart. You are powerful healer. Like heal up the great work. Yeah, I think you guys are know how to heal yourselves. This is definitely um, like not a person who doesn't know how to address like their own issues or things like that. Okay, so yeah, um, definitely you guys want to take some time to address maybe the reason why you've been feeling um, like out of place or you guys like been feeling a little bit of self doubt. That could really help you guys. We also have make a decision and self forgiveness. I'm gonna take that together for some reason. And let's get one last one. How can you strengthen your manifestations? How can you strengthen them? Make a wish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What I'm getting here is make a decision to forgive yourself with whatever you've done in the past. Maybe you guys have embarrassed yourself in the past. I know I have. Um, maybe you guys have made some wrong decisions when it came to this particular manifestation or just manifestations in general. Um, and it's been kind of hard for you to like let this go let let old you know old bygones be bygones or guys it could even be that you guys are afraid of making a mistake you guys are afraid to you know go venture into the future and not be able to uh you know do what you set out to accomplish okay first of all i don't feel like that's the case um and and second of all really this is saying that so what make the choice to forgive yourself if things go wrong and dedicate yourself to continuing to make this work okay then we have make a wish this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation this is essentially saying to me that you guys would benefit from in making intentions about what you want to come into your life making intentions about your about this victory how things are going to go after this victory because you guys could be nervous about you know uh how things are going to pan out afterwards but really understand that as long as you set your intentions you're they're probably going to go according to what you intend right so let's keep going and i got the romance angels cards here okay we have children how can you strengthen your manifestations calling in your soulmate how can you strengthen your manifestations and last we have getting to know each other okay healing heart and children all right um yeah i just think you guys are very powerful healers you probably heal a lot of stuff that you've had going on from your childhood you've probably been able to address a lot of childhood wounds that you've you know uh that, that, that things have happened like you know things have happened to you been able to really uh you know call that forward and and release yourself from its effects okay so this is kind of just the understanding and resting in the knowing that you can already heal yourself you can already pivot you can already 
do what you need to do to make yourself feel better or to rise to the challenge or to, you know, um, to learn or whatever it is that you could be worried about, right? Like you have all the tools that are necessary for you to not only, you know, totally kill whatever this task is coming up, totally just like, you know, be victorious. But if you were to make a mistake, you had all the tools that you would need to either, you know, learn from that and make it even bigger and better the next time or to um, pivot very quickly uh, or just move on and, you know, and, and forgive yourself. Like whatever it may be, you guys won't end up rattled by this. You'll be in a peaceful state. So just know that. Uh, I do feel like the success is coming though. Um, but this is kind of like letting yourself know on both sides of the situation. You know, even if you were to make a mistake, that will be fine, okay? Um, and then we have make a wish getting uh, and getting to know each other. So this is kind of like getting familiar with the energy of having your dreams, getting familiar with the energy of, you know, being happy and being in that um, like divine uh, manifesting co-creation space because I feel like you are very very powerful when it comes to manifesting so this is kind of just like getting even more comfortable with the unknown getting even more comfortable with the universe and with co-creating and comfortable with this magical energy that's surrounding you and these opportunities that are coming in for you really soon okay so let's continue with the divine feminine entrepreneurship cards these are from live tarot um, how can you strengthen your manifestation? How can you strengthen your manifestation? All right, what do we have here? Speak. Okay, yeah, definitely. Um, maybe you guys have powers when it comes to, you know, speaking. Um, not that you have, like, supersonic speaking or anything. But that, you know, when you speak, people want to listen to you. People want to understand what you have to say. They feel like you have a story. Um, if you guys, like, have a wanted to start a YouTube channel, if you wanted to start, like, a podcast or a blog, um, those things can be really, really helpful. Um... Okay, it says share your message and transform lives through your work. Okay, that could be part of you know your divine destiny. That could be part of um, like what you're trying to bring in for yourself. Okay mastermind wow okay maybe you guys are trying to build a mastermind right or it could be saying go for you know my mastermind it's kind of funny enough that i, I i'm offering one um really soon in the next couple weeks and then we do have the mastermind card come up so uh this says join a community of entrepreneurs or manifestors in this case who can give you the love support and feedback you need to achieve your dreams wow i love that so much um just to plug myself we will be building a community and it will be community based it will be like a facebook group things like that but yeah guys maybe you want to join some kind of mastermind um you know for manifesting or maybe you guys want to even create a mastermind because you guys are so uh you know knowledgeable at this point that you know there is there is space on you know this platform for more people and for more messages you know that people's perspectives are really what makes it so powerful okay so how can you strengthen your manifestations? Okay, we have, wow, this one wanted to come out. I actually put it back in the deck. It says muse, and this also says transition, okay? Take time away from the daily hustle. Give yourself quiet time to nurture, in nature to muse, okay? Create space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. Yes, exactly. This is a huge part of resting, and I've been saying this to kind of all the piles, is that it's half attraction half action okay we have to be able to rest we have to be able to get in that flow state and this really does bring in energetic space for you know opportunities that we want to come and a lot of the time the universe will award us for even like taking the time to rest because it is so so essential i just can't you know over oversell it you know then we have transition. Changes are coming that require you to shift to new ways of thinking and doing. Don't resist. Embrace the changes. So, yeah, guys, you have been, like, waiting to step into this new way of being. And you guys are ready, okay? Just understand that whatever you've been trying to bring in, now is going to be the right time. You guys are really calling in all of these, you know, fantastic opportunities. Um, you guys have all the tools that it takes um, to make it and to also, you know, pivot and, um, you know, make the best decision for yourself along the way okay so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up with the alan time well in this law of attraction cards so we have being love exude love and all that you do oneness like attracts like unconditional loving self and all okay gotcha 
So yeah, with being love, um, to me this really talks about accepting oneself, you know, feeling confident in the fact that you've taken yourself this far, you made it through 100% of your bad days, okay? Follow your bliss. And yeah, definitely, guys. Like, if you guys are wanting to create anything, if you guys are wanting, if you guys have some kind of inspiration for a new direction, or you guys have been trying to, you know, if, the, if this is the direction that you have been going in for quite some time, things are really going to work out. Definitely follow your bliss. Follow your creativity. That's what you're meant to do. We have daily habits. And yeah, and make time for self-care. Like, follow your bliss and, and, you know, be, take and take action. But also, um make a scheduled time to rest you know um sometimes i have to put in my schedule like actually in my to-do list take a break because i will work myself you know like so much if i can but yeah daily habits definitely take care of yourself you know make those healthy choices um do your journaling things like that and the next step okay daily steps towards your dreams manageable goals mentorships doors opening and success so exactly you guys are really destined for success right now a lot of really great things are happening for you it's probably one of the best piles i mean you did pick the victory pile so what can we say um but yeah the next steps are just to continue to take care of yourself follow your bliss um you know take these manageable goals you know towards your dreams and maybe even consider becoming a mentor for other people because it really seems you have a lot to share that can be very helpful for others okay anyway i really hope that you all enjoyed this reading today i hope that it helped you a lot if it did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i post new videos every wednesday and saturday and if you'd like a personal reading from me i'd love to help you out um, go ahead and look at my description box below and there's information on how to book in the services link and also, if you guys want to check out the OG reading, it's going to be all about what are you bringing in next. So go ahead and check that out if you were interested. Uh, I got all the tea over there, okay? So I'll talk to you next time. Love and light. Hey, bye-bye. Hey there, pile number four. If you chose woman holding a coin, this is your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is, of course, how to strengthen your manifestations. You could be trying to manifest money right now or manifest some kind of lifestyle change, you know, more abundance into your life. I do feel like it's going to be coming to you really soon. Um, even if you haven't been trying to attract it necessarily. Wow, we have the Ace of Cups coming up. Okay, how can you strengthen your manifestations? What do we got? Death. How can you strengthen your manifestations? Plus tips for beginners. Okay, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, interesting. All right, those are the Nine of Pentacles here. So this is telling me that you guys are in a really awesome space in your life right now. I feel like, and if you're not actually in this space, I think you're going to be coming into that very soon. Like, um, there's a lot of confidence. There's a lot of um, healthy pride. Like, you guys are really proud of, you know, how far you've come. And it's well-deserved is what I'm getting, okay? So, yeah, there's a lot of self-love going on here. I'm really happy to see that. Um, I'm happy to see that Lunar Light is really a place where people celebrate self-love and putting putting each other first, you know, putting putting ourselves first. Um, but anyway, yeah, as soon as you guys are really in that vibration, really feeling good about yourselves, and um, you're hoping to inspire some change in your life, you're hoping that... Um, like this energy or like you can like bring in some kind of positive change or maybe a new lifestyle like I said and it really doesn't think this is coming in for you uh, really soon right so the part of the advice here is to almost mm, I'm trying to phrase this correctly right is to rest in the knowing that your manifestation is around the corner okay and when i say around the corner whoa okay it's really funny because I, literally as i said around the corner there was a little uh there's an ambulance that came around the corner <laughs> that came driving that was the sound of it i was just watching it wow guys so literally that's how fast this is going to be coming in for you this new lifestyle i really feel like that um so it's kind of like you guys have been understanding for a while now that you, your life's going to be changing. Um, so you're just kind of trying to like go with it and trying to, you know, believe in it. Um, even though you probably, maybe can't see everything that's happening yet. And that's the right feeling to have, okay? Just blindly go with the feeling of being happy. Um, blindly go with the feeling of um, that everything's going to work out for me. Everything's going to be great for me. Um, while we're also taking, you know 
um, educated, uh, you know, uh, choices. We're making educated choices. That's the way to be, okay? We have Father Healing, okay? How can you strengthen your manifestations? How can you strengthen your manifestations? We have Ready, Set, Go. Exactly. It's about to happen. Empowerment, okay? This is part of the Father Healing one, I want to say. Then we have positive energy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is really great. We have simplify your life also. So while this is coming in for you, I really feel like whatever you are bringing in is pretty much set in stone. You're going to get this awesome, whatever it is. All right. So this really isn't about that is what I'm seeing. This is almost about, um, while you're on the way there, here's how to do it most comfortably. Okay. Um, one, simplify your life. You might want to clean your house. You might want to clean your bedroom. You might want to, um, I don't know, just make your living space a little more comfortable for you. Eliminate some clutter or even just could be, um, this could also be in your, in your head space because you also have this father healing and empowerment card. Now, some of you guys could have like some old, um, you know, childhood stuff kind of maybe coming up to the surface right now. Even for those of you who don't have it bubbling up to the surface, maybe there could be something for you to confront, whether it regards like a pattern that you have or like a relationship that you have that just wasn't so good. I'm not saying to confront the person. I would never say that for you to just tell you guys to do that. Um, what I am saying is that it could be really beneficial for you guys to journal about um, maybe a certain like tough relationship that you had or even like patterns that you've noticed that you've taken on because of your, your childhood or how you were raised right I really feel like confronting these feelings are going to leave you feeling really empowered and try and focus maybe your journal entry on how this no longer impacts your life anymore how those feelings you felt in the past are no longer as relevant to the feelings you feel now and how they no longer have power over you in the same ways they did in the past, okay? And why that's true, all right? That could be super, super helpful for you guys. Okay, we have Ready, Set, Go. And again, this just tells me that um, you guys are really ready to step into whatever this new positive reality is. And we do have positive energy here as well. So you guys are going to be feeling more positive energy now as you do these healings and also um, as you receive these blessings. So it's kind of like you want to, again, match the energy. Not kind of, it is. We want it, We want to match the energy of what we're getting, right? So um, this is kind of like bringing up any block that you could have. If this is not your block, don't even worry about that. That, that could be someone else's message, so not a problem there. But yeah, for those of you who resonate with that, that could be super, super helpful, okay? Just journaling is really, really helpful. Okay, how to strengthen your manifestation. Keep an open mind, yeah. What I said about the father healing, this, guys, it doesn't have to be your actual dad. It could be um, either one of your parents. It could be an old friend. It could be an old relationship. You know, for me, um, when I think of father healing, I actually think of the patterns that I held in dating and how they were actually influenced by the relationship I had with my parents and, you know, the patterns that I did. So, like, for, for a quick example, I used to only be attracted to people who would like not really communicate with me when they weren't like around me because I was really used to um, like my dad who would travel a lot and so when he would travel he wouldn't like uh, call we would call right but it wasn't the same so I kind of wasn't into it <laughs> sorry dad if you're watching this anyway so as I grew up I kind of found myself trying to date in a similar way and to actually try and fix quote unquote that um, that part of the relationship but when I, once I actually confronted that and I was like wait you know, my dad loves me and I don't have to worry about that anymore. I found myself, my, I found my dating life changed completely because it was hinged upon something that didn't really matter to me anymore. I didn't hold the same, um, you know, presence in my life as it did back then. I had grown, I had moved on, but my subconscious was still attached to it, okay? So that could really help you. That could be about anything, okay? It doesn't have to be about um, necessarily like your dad, okay? Or it could be for some of you. <laughs> then we have separation. Yeah, so for some, for some of you, sorry, I'm getting excited. For some of you, it could be hard for you to accept that all of this great, all these great things are coming to you because you've been separated from this goal or from this awesomeness for so long now. But it's really right around the corner, guys. Yeah, this has kind of been an unrequited love for you for a while. Like whatever this goal is, it's kind of been like two steps forward, one step back. Like. 
just this dance and, and having a hard time totally getting to where you want to be but I do feel like now you're going to be stepping into a whole new role a place where you feel more established um and it's, it's a whole new lifestyle really is, is what I'm getting like so this is really big for a lot of you okay and how can you strengthen these manifestations oops Analyze. Yes, guys, analyze yourself. This is really going to help you. Just like I said with the journaling, this guy is like taking notes, his glasses out, or this could be a woman actually. And, uh, you know, they got charts and stuff. Uh, all we have to do is journal. <laughs> you don't have to analyze in the same way. But analyze your past. Analyze why it matters to you now and analyze how your behaviors are connected to events from your past, okay? Yeah, how can we strengthen your manifestations? Because when we clear things like that, we make energetic space for what we want. And that's why it's that's why I'm bringing it up. And give back. Ooh, wow, yeah. Guys, give back. You want me to donate? Uh, that can be really helpful. Whenever I feel like I'm getting more money, I try and donate more. Um, because that's just really, really what we want is to be given money. So we should give money so we should so we can get, you know, so we, people want to give us money. Does that make sense? It's not just for the purpose of law of attraction, but I also do it as, you know, like a pay it forward thing. We should be paying it forward. Um, really what we want in, in life is people to give us money. So we should be giving in return, okay? And that's, how I, that's how I approach everything, of course. Um, how to strengthen your manifestations? How can you strengthen your manifestations? What are the tips for beginners? How can you strengthen your manifestations? Okay, whoa, holy shit. I said journal and they literally was journal. Seriously guys, the journaling is gonna be super powerful. When I said about journaling, please don't take that lightly. That literally changed my life. It's one of the things I actually cover in my course very in depth. Um, in my eight week manifestation course, I'm gonna be teaching you guys um, all of my tips, every everything when it comes to journaling, everything I've learned, um, the exact techniques that changed my life and my mind forever for the positive. Um, seriously guys, yeah, position. Ooh, Ooh, an expert yes guys seriously step into your power boldly own your topic show how you can help guys I, this is for me to be honest like yeah I I, I'm, I haven't talked about this on my channel but I really am uh, like an expert manifester so I wanted to come out and just like tell you guys this now it's kind of weird right um, but seriously like this journaling is really going to help you. This is an incredible tool that I just gave you guys. And I'm going to be going even more in depth in my course. So just be ready. Seriously, guys, Spirit is Spirit is uh, aligned with me. And they're saying, you know, step into your power. I'm trying, you know, I'm here I am telling you guys to so like, seriously, this is crazy. So just be ready for the course, okay? Because they have stuff to say about this. <laughs> They've been like, oh, take the course and the cards and stuff. I'm excited. Anyway, let me have a line. Stay aligned with your core values and your vision for your lifestyle you want to create, okay? So exactly, this is kind of like, again, the visualization, um, just imagine yourself in that positive place, okay? And whenever you can't totally imagine yourself there, ask yourself, what's blocking me from imagining it? And then do a drilling exercise about that, seriously. Like that's how you identify and then address your um, inner blocks, okay? We have observe. And then being love. Okay, for some of you guys, um, as this transition happens, as you transition into this new lifestyle, you guys are just gonna, gonna wanna take on this, um, this, this uh, aspect or this position perspective of observing what's going on instead of you know getting caught up in all the details instead of getting caught up in stress you guys are going to want to actually just take a step back and almost act like a third character observe what's going on and try and just wait for things to pan out instead of getting worried um and then it says being love let your tracks like oneness exude love and all that you do so yeah, I just, again, this is just kind of like you're stepping into this new role. You're going to be loving yourself even more. You're going to be understanding that to attract more happiness into your life, you're going to need to put effort into being happy. And it's going to be, it's going to be getting even easier for you because you're, because you're already so good at this. I feel like you're already, uh, you know, coming into all of these fantastic feelings very soon okay so it's not going to be so hard to keep yourself uh to happy right but even right now you guys could feel like okay i still have some things to address i still have some you know some shadow work to do and that's fine just understand that even as you're in those darker moments 
those are really the moments that lead you to all those happiness you know if we, if we weren't to address all the things that we've gone through we wouldn't have the energetic space we wouldn't have the space in our minds to even you know um think about other things right to worry less about other things and to bring in you know positive experiences whoa incoming wow that's crazy exactly to bring in positive experiences and we have incoming so we have news message game changer surprise invitation invites gift and making connections so seriously guys there's something really awesome coming for you so soon uh, some kind of new lifestyle change some kind of game changing news um a surprise coming for you guys soon is going to um elevate you okay so stay aligned with this energy that's all you have to do um when you can't stay aligned ask yourself why and address it it's going to be super powerful for you guys that's a massive tip right there um, and yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and that it benefited you. That is always my intention. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you would like um, more from me, I am available for personal readings. So check it out in the description box below uh, for my services. You'll see my uh, personal readings. Then I also have the OG reading. There's a few seconds. You don't want to miss that. It's going to be all about what are you bringing in next. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one and I hope you all enjoyed. All right, love and light. Bye-bye. Hello to my OGs who's at the very end of the video. I'm so happy to have you all here and I hope that you're all super excited about my announcement that I made earlier. If you missed it, I announced that I'm going to be uh, launching an eight week long manifestation course. It's going to be massive guys. I am super, super excited for this. Um, and I've been working on this for a really long time now and I've been thinking about ways how I could add you know value to the channel and really give back to you guys and uh, save you guys time and money and effort because seriously these if I had known this years ago I would have skipped so much in my life I would have skipped so much hardness uh, hard, so much hardship and like and sadness so I really want to just like give you guys this, this incredible um, you know opportunity to uh you know really get everything you need all in one course so guys if you're excited let me know down below and comment about what you want to see in the course because I, i'm still building it right now i want you guys to get on the ground floor and actually influence what's going to be in the course okay so yeah let me know i'm super excited but without further ado let's get into what are you bringing in next okay so let's go ahead and see it Ba -ba -ba, we got the magician hell yeah so you guys are manifesting like crazy right now and that makes a lot of sense uh we got the emperor the sun wow you guys are bringing in a lot of stability a lot of happiness and it's coming in quickly okay a lot of public recognition well this is happening for a lot of people in 2021 actually it's happening for a lot of people that we're bringing in um you know opportunities for ourselves and stepping into higher roles stepping into more responsibility you know um being seen a little bit more this could be being seen this could be a being in the public eye or this could just be like you know you guys are trying to manifest a, a higher position in your company or a, a raise or a promotion new job or a, a projects whatever right okay let's see what are you bringing in self-forgiveness Ooh, wow that's very powerful consultant expert you also have morning affirmations okay 
What are you bringing in though? <laughs> Dream big. Okay, okay. Here, here we go. A lot of music, music for manifesting. They're giving us a lot of um, different manifesting techniques right now. Also, pay attention. That's what the last card said. Okay, self forgiveness starting out. So this is one of the most important things, honestly. I feel like you guys are not only bringing in all this awesome new energy but you're forgiving yourself for things that didn't go so well in the past right and maybe even for some of you these things that didn't go so well in the past um you could be talking about them you could be um you know opening up about some things right obviously some people some people know some people yes right um but even forgiving ourselves about that um leads us to like first first of all understanding it leads us to learning the lesson of, you know what we can do differently or maybe even why some of those things could have happened right for certain situations and it also allows us to make energetic space for what we want to come in right to to, to be able to let go of negative feelings and that kind of opens that void to letting in more opportunities right so that is so awesome you guys could be asking for more help when it comes to manifesting. You guys could be, um, well, I mean, that makes sense, right? You're on this video. Um, so when it comes to that, you might want to consult an expert. I mean, I I mean, I love to plug my course all day, but <laughs> so I guess I will. Um, yeah, like look out for the course in a couple of weeks. Um, seriously, it's going to be so impactful. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, you guys could want to look up some manifesting videos. You know what I mean? Different techniques for yourselves. Um, for you, I'm seeing that morning affirmations could really work. That is a technique that I'm going to be covering, by the way, affirmations, uh, fully how to do them, how to phrase them, all that kind of stuff. And um, that could be really, really helpful for you guys to post them up around you, to look at um, throughout the day, to remind yourself how awesome you are, things like that, okay? And dream big, okay? It's because you're about to enter into this really amazing new, even like a lifestyle, um, step into this new energy, right? So continue to dream big about how this is going to go afterwards. You could be nervous about how long it's going to take excuse me, with the uh, audio. You could be nervous about how long it's going to take. You could be nervous about how it's going to go afterwards, but just know things are going to go really well for you. Could we have chemistry? Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry between you and your goals, okay? You're becoming magnetized to your desires. All right, this could be the one, yes. You're, you're really, you're, yeah, you're really bringing in a lot of uh, good things. And I do wanna say that, um, again, consult an expert and this could be the one. If you enjoy my channel, this is actually the message I'm getting, like literally. If you enjoy my channel, you enjoy the way that I teach things, my of course would be a really great fit for you um because if you if we already resonate on that kind of level i could be able to teach you about a lot of uh really awesome things so yeah think about it right <laughs> i'm so extra anyway <laughs> yeah but um yeah chemistry you have a lot of chemistry with your goals though okay and passion uh, do you feel like um using some manifestation techniques to help you have more passion for life um just that's by even intending to have more passion for life you can bring in more passion for life you see what i'm saying so things like that okay and stay optimistic about your um manifesting your manifestations right stay optimistic about things that are coming in because there's a lot of opportunities happening for you soon there's a lot of um you know elevation there's a lot of en engagement going on so that's really exciting all right um okay let's go ahead I was like, I'm gonna take anything out. I don't think I will. Okay, raise your vibe. Yes, and transform. You guys are about to be transforming. Seriously, we have collaborate as well. Ooh, wow. Yeah, raise your vibe. You guys are gonna be raising your vibe soon. You're gonna be feeling, you know, really, really good. Just in like really nice high energy, um, because you would have transformed um, into a whole new state. Possibly again, like a lifestyle shift, right? Or into a new role. So it's it's kind of um, you're stepping up to the challenge, and you're really enjoying it at the same time. Okay, possibly it's like just bringing more bringing more things to your plate um, that you need to manage, but you're also enjoying it, right? Oh, wow, I love that, manage and muse, okay? So it's like, you're being challenged by it, but it's also your muse, you're also being inspired by it. So, wow, I love that, that's that's really awesome. Um, to be talking about your divine path, of course. Okay, then we have collaborate and conquer. Um, business can be lonely, manifesting can be lonely. Find uh, ways to collaborate with others to build both of your brands or manifestations. These are about um, business, these cards, so I'm like applying it to manifesting. 
yeah guys you can want to even like join an online group that manifests together i do have to say that with my course i will be offering a facebook group and the guys will be able to actually uh join together it's only going to be a beta group to start at first so it's going to be exclusive at first only 10 to 15 people but those people are going to be you know in the group together chatting i'm going to be there um giving you guys advice coaching and all that kind of stuff so we're going to be collaborating over there super soon um you know it's going to be up within the next like month so I'm super excited for that. Um, so yeah, guys, um, if you're excited for that, you know, comment down below, of course. But yeah, other than that, you guys who wanted to collaborate with other people about how to bring these things in, you know, get your friends together, make a manifestation party, you know, uh, do a vision board party. Those really freaking work, okay? And not even kidding, like those really work. Um, vision board parties and uh, conquer. Seriously, guys, you are to conquer this year. I really feel like you guys are about to be out here. Seriously, you, this says. You have the strength to overcome all challenges on your path to emotional and financial freedom. Keep going. Be unstoppable. Yes, guys. It takes some determination, right? But once you get going, it's kind of like working out. You just love that feeling of being challenged and going for your dreams and getting there and making it. And maybe you fall a few times and you scratch yourself, but it's even sweeter when you finally get there, right? So I totally feel that. Um, anyways, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this reading today. I really hope that... Um, you had a fun time that this benefited you that is always my intention of course uh, if you were interested please keep along with the updates i'm going to be giving about my manifestation course and please drop down below what you want to see from me because again guys i want you guys to be uh totally you know like one of the steers of this project i want you guys to get it on the ground floor um tell me what you want to see and i'm going to put it in there for you but i have so much more that i already have it is already jam-packed so um I, I'm, I'm super super excited it's going to be awesome 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 and it's going to be so it's going to be honestly it's going to be very life-changing and I'm, I'm very very happy to be able to share it with you guys i'm very blessed to be able to share it with you guys um, I have a whole team behind me. This was not easy. I've been putting this together for a long time and I just really want to help you guys out in a major, major way. Uh, and it's going to be so influential. You're going to love it. Okay. So anyway, uh, keep in tune with that, but I will talk to you guys in the, uh, very, very soon. Hope you all enjoy it. And, um, uh, other than that, love and light. Okay. Lots and lots of it. Okay. So talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.